Okay, here we have a basic uh, roadway template. Uh, here's a 12-foot lane, 10-foot shoulder, and a curb and gutter component. And here's my edge of pave point, and here's my center line. And basically what I want to do is, when my template is in this position with the edge of pave point lower than the center line, I want my curb and gutter to display like it is now. However, let me right click, select move point. If uh, let's say we're in super and my edge of pave goes up above the center line, I want the curb and gutter component to not display. So what we'll do is we'll create a display rule that will accomplish that. So just right click on the curb and gutter component, select set component display rules, and that opens up the component display conditional expression dialog. This is where we create our display rule. So what I'll do is I'll come here, click add, and I'm going to name it edge of pave lower than center line. And give it a description. Edge of pave is lower than the center line. And the type, this will be a vertical control, and it will be between the center line, so that's good, we'll leave that, and the edge of pave. And I'm going to set this greater or equal to zero, and click OK. And what that means is that when you take the elevation of the center line minus the edge of pave, if it's greater, and equal to, greater or equal to zero, then the curb and gutter will display. So for example, if this is at elevation 100 minus, for example, 90, then you have a positive value and it's displayed. Likewise, if your edge of pavement point is up here, you take, for example, elevation 100 minus 110, that value is less than or equal to zero, and our curve and gutter won't display. So now that we created our display rule, I'll go ahead and highlight that, and you see we're in our curb and our gutter barrier component. Highlight the rule, select, click the selected rule button, click OK, and let's test it. Right click, move point, and there's our curb and gutter. Let's move our edge of pave up, and it disappears. Good. Does what we want. Okay, now let's uh, let's put some end conditions on the end of our curb and gutter. Let me put some basic cut and fill end conditions. Let me zoom, and let's go ahead and test that. I'll move this point, move it up. Our gutter disappears, but our end conditions are there. So we're going to have to apply the display rules to our end conditions as well. So I'll click on this, go to Set Component Display Rules, select that, select our display rule that we just created, click Selected Rule, OK. Now let's test it and see how it works. And there it goes, it disappears. Okay, so we'll have to set the others as well. So I'll right click, set component display rules, or there's another way you can get through it. Just open up the edit component dialog and next to the display rules field, click edit, and that opens up this dialog. We'll go ahead, add that one, click OK, click apply and close. Go ahead and test it, see what it does. Let's move our point up, and good. Okay, the next one, let's do it a little different way. I'm going to right click, set component display rules. I'm going to create one. I'm going to go to add, and I'm going to call this gutter is displayed. Uh, there is displayed, and I'm going to apply this 
I'm going to call it component is displayed and I'm going to apply this to our gutter barrier and I'll click OK and let me click OK and I'm going to apply that to our fill 1 to 4 component set component display rules select that click selected rule click OK and what that does is it just as long as your curb and gutter is displayed then this component will be displayed if your curb and gutter is not displayed this component will not be displayed so let's right click move our point test it and there it goes it disappeared okay so let's take care of our fourth one right click set component display rules and actually let's do this one different also let's go ahead and right click edit component and let's just go ahead and parent this to our curb and gutter so let's select parent component gutter barrier apply close and let's test it let's move our point and once our gutter barrier disappears our end conditions disappear okay well if we're in super like this then we need some end conditions that will display so I'm going to drag my simple cut and fill end conditions over here and make sure I right point and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these two uh, delete component delete component and I want to set these two to display when our curb and gutter is not displayed move this point and you see right now they display all the time so let me go to right click set component display rules and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the button that says not and then I'm going to select this display rule click selected rule so this is not the edge of pave lower than center line click OK and let's move our point and you see when we're down when our gutter is displayed our two to one component turned off and there it is it came back now it disappears and there it is okay let's set this one yeah we'll just set it the same way not edge of pave selected rule okay let's test it move point down there they are disappear there they are okay and let's uh... i'm going to add a, a ditch component to this also i'm going to drag my basic ditch in here and uh, we'll give it the same display rule as the other end conditions right click set com component display rules not edge of pave lower select rule OK now let's right click and let's test it and there we go there's our curb and gutter with our end conditions and when our edge of pave point is above our center line our curb and gutter disappears and we have our fill components here and our ditch with a berm there uh, another thing you can do is you can click on this display all components checkbox and you'll see this will display everything um, according to your display rules the components that are not supposed to display you can see they're displayed in a uh, uh, dashed line right here so let's go ahead right click move point and you'll see those change watch our, our ditch disappear and it goes into a uh, it turns into a the uh, dash line move it back up 
Our gutter is dashed. Move it down. Our ditch is dashed. Move it up. And that's uh, that's a good way to test your display rules. Is you can see everything all at once. Uh, we can turn that off. And that's how to create some simple display rules for your components. I'll come up here, file, save, and there we go.